All right, Cam baseball team, nine straight wins now. Austin Chester and Drew Tickner with us here. Start off Drew Tickner, you went three for four, a double, a homer, a single. Take us through the home run at left the yard over the left field fence. Take us through that at bat. Yeah, I've been in a hitting slump lately, hitting pop-ups and just not hitting the ball real hard. And it definitely felt good to get a hold of one. And it was reassuring just to get back to the feel of hitting, get out of the slump. What? pitch did you see when you that you took deep uh, I think it was a high fastball is that where you like it I guess it worked that <laughs> bad at bat huh all right talk about the night that Austin had we'll ask him about it too but uh, you saw it right behind home plate and he was pretty darn effective on the hill yeah for sure he pitched a heck of a game I mean what coach says you know throw strikes make the routine plays and put the ball in play and we'll be all right he he threw strikes and our defense made a lot of plays. Thomas Hensley had a heck of a night at shortstop. I mean, everything is starting to come together. Austin Chester will talk to you about your pitching night. Six strikeouts. You uh, allowed only three hits, one walk. How did you feel about the performance? I felt pretty good. Um, just three strikes. And... Did you have a certain go-to pitch you were working with most of the night? Fastball. Did you mix it up much at all? Not really. My curveball wasn't breaking much, so I just stuck to the fastball. You had some really good plays that you fielded your own position. Take us through some of those where you arranged to your right and were able to throw guys out. Um, I just saw it was slow and got over there, got the ball, and just made a routine throw and everything. we got to ask Drew about his home run here tonight, but you had a home run earlier in the season too, which I'm sure was a real highlight for you at the plate. Talk about that pitch you hit out. Um, it was full count, and I was just going to put the bat on the ball if it was a strike. Ended up going over the fence, so... Nine in a row now. You guys are atop the Rolling Valley Conference. How good do you feel about where you stand at this point in the season? Pretty good. And confident that we can get the job done. Big week coming up next week. I mean, do you guys look at kind of what's ahead? I know you take things one game at a time, but just how important is the lineup of games coming up next week for you? It's going to be real important because those are going to be probably the biggest games in the rest of the season. So. Drew commented on the defense behind you. It was error-free baseball from you guys tonight. Just uh, what can you say about the supporting cast? It was real good. And we're just making routine plays, and we'll be fine. All right. Drew, ask you a little bit about the conference race as well. With uh, You've beaten Coon Rapids Baird. You've beaten Glenn Ralston. You play him again. You also get a shot to get back at Exira EHK. How much are you looking forward to meeting those teams again? Uh, we can't wait for next week. I mean, it's going to be a tough week, but... Can't wait to start it off and hopefully cap off the end of this week with a couple more wins and the team would be ecstatic. I mean, going into a big week like that, there's nothing better to finish out a week. What have you got going with the hair here? I don't know. You weren't expecting that question, were you? Taking it day by day. Hey, a uh, more serious note, last time you'll ever play Adair Casey, I mean, as far as a uh, conference game, you do have him in the tournament again tomorrow, but last time you'll play him here at your home field. What's it been like going up against the Bombers over your career in several sports? Uh, it's been fun. Um, I don't know. There's always that rivalry there. That's it's fun. I mean, the kids are nice. We get along. It's just fun to get out on the field and play with them. All right, guys, you're off the hook for tonight. Thanks for your time. Congratulations on the win and the nine-game winning streak. Thank you.